Extra Report Suite features an end user reports designer that incorporates the full functionality and features of the report designer we ship for the Visual Studio IDE. This standalone application enables your end users to easily open existing Extra Reports layout definition files and modify the reports that can be printed, exported, or further distributed. In this video, we'll look at how to create a standard master detail report using the end user designer and then export the report layout. So let's get started. For the purposes of this lesson, I'll launch the end user reports designer through the demo center installed with dexperience. I click on extra reports and select the ribbon end user designer demo link. The end user designer is invoked and you can see that it has a modern look and feel including a ribbon bar at the top of the application. I can open existing report definitions, create a new one using a wizard, or simply start with a blank report document. I'll select the new report item so that a blank report is generated. If you have used the Extra Reports Designer built into the Visual Studio IDE, you'll immediately notice striking similarities between both environments. On the left side is the toolbox, which houses the reporting controls that ship with Extra Reports. Now let's start by customizing the basic layout of the report document. I right-click and add a report header band. This header band is common across all pages of the report and can be used to display a master title for the report. I'll add another band, the page footer. Unlike the report footer, this is generated per page and is useful when displaying page-specific footer information such as page numbers or other related references. Adding and removing report bands is also possible through the Edit and Reorder Bands link. Next. I'll need to add a data source to the report. From the Report Tasks Smart Tag window, I open the Data Source property and click the Add New Data Source link. I'll specify a name for the data set to be created and click Next. I've previously specified a connection string to the Northwind Sample Database file. I click Next to select the tables that will be used to populate the report. Since this is going to be a master detail report, I'll select tables with a relationship, in this case the categories and product tables. Click Finish to complete the report wizard. You can see that the data set and table adapter components have been created and are displayed on the bottom. I can access the tables and fields from the field list on the right side of the window. Now let's start building the report. From the toolbox, I drop a label control onto the report header band. I'll double click to set the text and then modify its appearance. Next, I need to create two labels and bind them to the category name and description data fields. To do this, I simply drag the necessary data field items from the field list tree and drop them onto the report's detail band. To add a picture, I right-click the picture item in the field list tree and drop it onto the detail band. This will invoke the context menu to choose the type of the control. Select Picture Box. To proportionally resize the image within the control and to avoid clipping, I set the image sizing value to zoom image. To add the detail data to this report, I right click on the report area and add a detail categories products report to the designer. Then I'll add the group header band object to the detail reports collection of bands. To improve the report's appearance, you can customize several properties. In this instance, the group header band will be generated for every report page, and its position will be chosen in such a way that it will always be printed with at least one detail band below it. Drop a table control onto the group header and detail bands. I'll resize the rows so that they fill the group header and detail bands. I hold down the control key and click to select all three table cells within the group header band. This allows me to save time by applying appearance customizations to all three cells at the same time. I'll change the font, color, and text alignment of the cells. I then double click each cell to give it a meaningful caption. I select the cells in the second row and modify their padding property.
I can also add a group footer band that will be constant between every detail record view. However, for this demo, I'll simply use it as a blank spacer to separate one master view from the next. Let's resize the bottom margin and drop a page info control onto the page footer band. This will add page numbers to the report. Finally, to bind the table cells to data, I simply drag and drop the corresponding fields from the field list window. And I'm done with my report. Let's click on Print Preview to see what it'll look like. To save and distribute this report, I click on Save and export the current layout as a RepX file. This file can now be reloaded into the End User Report Designer or the Extra Report Designer for the Visual Studio IDE. For more information on Extra Reports, check out our online documentation. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.